Hi friends, in this video, let's uh, talk about a matrix visualization in the Power BI. First of all, we need to understand what is a matrix. What is the difference between matrix visualization and the tabular visualization? So if you go to the uh, difference prospect to in table and the matrix, there are a couple of differences. Let me show you one by one. So if you see, this is a table. Let me draw a simple basic table here. Here, this is a, a rows actually. So in the table, so rows, row number is dynamic actually. So if you run the uh, visualization report today, so you will get 10 records. Tomorrow, if you run the uh, same report based on the size in the source database, it may be less than 10 or more than 10. But the column numbers are fixed in the in the table uh, visualization or tabular report. When you go to the matrix, see this is a matrix report. So this is like this, like this. So matrix is going to accept multiple dimensions actually here. So row number is also not fixed. Row number is obviously yes, is not fixed. Even the column number is also not fixed. So today I have two columns. Okay, today I have a two column headers. Tomorrow, I my report has to accommodate one more column header. So that is possible in the matrix. So I will show you how, like, a, what is the best scenario for matrix and what is the best scenario for a table. The same scenario cannot fit in both the cases, tabular and matrix. So I need to go for a different scenario for a tabular as well as a different scenario for a matrix. Let me show you practically how to design a matrix visualization in the Power BI. It is one of the item in the Power BI. So with the help of the matrix, I can show you the drill down behavior of the Power BI or drill down behavior of the matrix in the Power BI. So both will cover together in the matrix uh, visualization. Let me show you practically how to do that. So before going to do the matrix visualization, let me load some sample data into the Power BI in memory. Let's select the get data and uh, click on SQL Server. So here let's provide a server name. My server name is dot slash SQL 2012 and click on OK. Once you click on OK, here you will get the list of available databases in your server. If you if you remember your server name, if you if you remember your database name with spelling, you can provide even in the first window itself. So, but I didn't remember exactly the uh, database name. That's the reason why I provide only server name. If you see my server name contains 13 databases. You can see the number of databases here. And let me select out of this 13. I will be selecting the one Microsoft uh, Adventure Works Data Warehouse 2012. So this is a, a warehouse which uh, are having a couple of dimension tables as well as a couple of fact tables. So this database is having uh, like a uh, yeah, what is a number of data so that I can easily cover all the scenarios in my examples. So that is the reason why I'm using this adventure box data warehouse 2012. So let me select the list of tables which I am planning to use for my example. Let's simply click on this arrow. Once you click on this arrow, it expands and it shows you the list of use and tables in your database. So let me select a couple of dimension tables. First one is dim date. So next one is a uh, dim product. So if you observe very closely, once I select in the uh, table name here, in the right side, I can see some sample data here. So if you don't want all the columns, you have a edit button in the down. So you can click on that edit button and you can change the column names or uh, column logic as well. Now let's select the some other tables, dim product category, dim product subcategory, and some fact table as fact internet sales. So if you observe very closely, so I have selected dim rate and the dim product, dim product category, dim product subcategory, and last one fact table as fact internet sales. If you count all the uh, tables, four dimension tables, one fact table I have selected here. So you can select how many tables you want. It is up to us. And I will be loading this data into the in memory of the Power BI. How to do that? Just simply select the table names and click on load. That's it. So once you click on load, so based on the size of the data, it takes a while to get the data into Power BI in memory. 
so yeah now you can see the status of the loading actually here if you see this so dim day 2191 rows and fact and yeah now you can see that detecting the relationships and all so once the load is completed so you can see the so list of uh, tables in the right side in the fields section now the data is ready for my example so now let me go to the visualization so as discussed i will be covering here the matrix visualization so let me select the matrix here so this is the matrix so once you hover on the visualizations you can see the name of it let me double click on the matrix so once i double click on the matrix this matrix will come and sit into the empty space of my page so let me increase the size of it and so as i told you so this is going to accept multiple dimensions if you see this here so those dimensions you need to cover in the row section in the column section as well now so now let me select some of the dimensions and some of the column from the facts first let me select one value from the fact table that is a sales amount so daily we'll be using the same field sales amount so ideally yes that automatically comes it into the value section because it's a numerical value okay so now if you come here let me select a couple of dimensions from the dimension table first i am planning to select the product category from the dim product category let me drag and drop that into the rows okay so before that yeah i have selected one dimension from the uh, row uh, like a product uh, dim dimension from the dimension table and one uh, column from the fact table so let me increase the font size of my matrix so let's go to the um, settings there you can see the font size and all so there you can see the values and all you can see increase the text size okay otherwise you can select the entire grid and you can change that as well let me change select the grid and i can change it to i can increase it to 8 to some other value see now it is readable somehow it is readable okay so now let's make it a 70. now let's come back to the uh, this section and let me select one more um, dimension from the dimension table so i have selected dim pro from the dim product category earlier let me select uh, one more from the dim product subcategory let me select english product subcategory so i have selected here let me again drag and drop yeah it came here now if you see here so by default you will be able to see the the first level of information accessories bikes and clothing and their respective sales amount so let if i want to see the subcategory related information i need to click on the drill option here once i click on it i'll be able to see the list of product subcategory information here you can see and respect to sales and the total amount which has been done now so let me select a product also from the other dimension table so that i can see three level of information here english product category name and let's drag and drop into the row section now if i go back to the original report see this is my first level of report which is showing the information on the top of the bikes accessories and clothing let me click on it now this is the product subcategory name if i click again i'll be getting the product basis if you see that you can see the sales here you will be having a big scroll like this now so here you will be seeing the information and the row rows are getting increased then what about the columns here now let me take some functionality for the columns as well if you see the columns are empty till now so let me take the columns as well let me take couple of columns so if you see here now let's take the date from date dimension take the calendar here and keep it in the columns yes now if you see this now if you see this yeah let me yeah now if you see my example i have uh, 2005 2006 2007 2008 year so tomorrow if i if my data gets 2009 year obviously yes i'll get it 2009 year 2010 11 12 13 like that i'll get it here the column number is not fixed it depends on the data so if my table contains 100 years then obviously yes this visualization is going to show 100 columns it is it is not uh, restricting here it shows the list of 
years which are present in my dimension table. Now let me go to the next level. Can I see that data or not? Let me see. So if I go to the next level, still I can see yes. This is a sales in the 2005. This is sales in the 2006. This is sales in the 2007, 8 and the total and respect to total is this. Next, if I go to the one more level, still I can see that, but I have a big scroll for this. So this is a big scroll. So if there is no sales for a particular uh, product in a particular year, it simply shows empty. So this is how I am going to display the data in the matrix. So if you want to implement some styles for this, uh, this uh, matrix, so let's go to the visualization and you can do that. Um, so grid separator or outlier or something like that, you can do that. So here just uh, go to the grid and outline color, you can put it and uh, Yeah, you can see some colors as well. You can put whatever the color you want. Yeah, the, by default color is something, some color is showing, some green. And let's come to the, so like a general, you can come and you can add uh, some more properties if you want. Column headers, if you want to increase the column headers. And if you want to add a, a outlier or something like that, you can do that even. So font color, you can change it to some, uh, some more color if you want, you can change it. Yes, the font color has been changed to some different color and all, what are all the properties you want to do, you can do that. So row headers, values, support for each and everything having their own uh, set of properties, you can do that. This is how we implement a matrix in the Power BI. So in this, we covered a matrix behavior as well as a drill down behavior in the matrix. That's it. Thank you for watching. So if you have any questions on the Power BI and MSBI and SQL Server, you can simply write a mail to training to SQL at the rate gmail.com. So, or if you require any online training on the MSBI, Power BI and SQL, please reach me on the training to SQL at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Please provide your feedback in the YouTube comment section. Please subscribe for more technology updates. Thank you.